every area we take. than to flee before the enemy. It is time he paid for his contemptible behavior. Jian Ye has fallen. Why did I have to live to see this day? This victory was made possible due to your efforts. Greater momentum. Strengthen the defenses in preparation for an invasion. I need to meet with Master Yuan Shao and reach a peace. Young Han. so badly in my duty. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. This victory was made possible due to your efforts. Oh, what a show, brother. Hey! Report! Lord Ji Ling has been defeated. 
Our alliance with you and Shao is over. We can't expect any more aid? Then we surely can't expect to win either. by us. without supplies. You saved all of our food! How can we ever thank you? How dare you raise your blades against me! I am your emperor! Someone, slay these perfidious fools! Let's go! We'll crush their position! This victory was made possible due to your efforts. Whoa! What a sh... Is there absolutely nothing we can eat? I simply can't fight when I'm hungry like this. We have received our orders. Forward! All right. I need everyone to defend this area.
aspirations. I will fight to the end. I don't really like defending, but I'll do what needs to be done. are about to be stopped. The enemy is going to attack us here. Everyone prepare to defend this spot. this position. It must be defended at all costs. He only moves forward! Oh, 
unthinkable, inconceivable. I am the Emperor. How could I be forced to endure such an outrage? So this is what happens to those who would dare take the name of the Emperor. Only what waits for me at the end of my life. I see your every move. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Yuan Shu has perished. As the true inheritor to the rule of the noble Yuan clan, it is my task now to lead this land in the right direction. So now he states his claim to the nobility after Yuan Shu has been eliminated. The land is no longer a place that can be ruled on the strengths of one's name alone. It takes power to bring about a new world order. That is why I have fought all this time and will continue to do so. When we were there, he was obsessed with being in a position of authority. Of course, that alone will get you nothing in this world. We couldn't care less about one's name or authority. We just need a land to call our own, and plenty of powerful allies to have our back. Now that our objective has been achieved, the coalition is disbanded. We fought as allies here, but we will soon be enemies. Sooner or later, Shu province will come under threat. When it does, what will I be able to do? My lord, a messenger has arrived from Lord Dongcheng, attendant to his Imperial Majesty. Is that so? Then you must show him in at once. Unfortunately, the Emperor is now little more than Cao Cao's puppet. Lord Dongcheng proposes to slay this traitor and rescue the Emperor. Lord Dong Cheng is recruiting like-minded individuals to his cause. Lord Liu Bei, would you consent to adding your name to this declaration of intent? The names of Master Yuan Shao and Master Sun Se are here. Has Master Cao Cao's abuse of power grown so extreme? Still, while his path is not the one I would have chosen, I would not have been able to return to Shu Province were it not for Master Cao Cao. So then you intend to side with the traitor. Is that your decision, Master Liu Bei? No. If his Imperial Majesty is displeased, then it will affect his leadership, and the people will not know peace. I will lend you what little strength I have. Thank you, most kind. I must go and make my report to Lord Dong Cheng. So if you will excuse me. It looks like Cao Cao's finally going to get his comeuppance. Still, brother, I must say that something about this doesn't seem right to me. If we had been in league with Master Cao Cao, then their plan would have been exposed at once and the messenger slain. And yet, the messenger was quite happy to show us the document without any sign of concern for his own safety. His actions strike me as far too cavalier for a secret messenger. Brother.
I bring news! Cao Cao's vast army is on the march towards Shu province. What? Why would Master Cao Cao attack us? I bring fresh intelligence. It appears that Cao Cao has raised troops in retaliation for Lord Liu Bei's alleged involvement in a plot to assassinate him. No. He must have gotten a hold of that document I signed. Now that it's come to this, we have no choice, brother. We have to prepare to face them in battle right away. But we are heavily outnumbered. If we meet them head on, we will simply be shattered into a thousand pieces. Holding up in the castle will be just as futile. Then what do you suggest we do, huh? Abandon Shu Province and flee. If I am not here, Shu Province should be able to escape the ravages of war. Brother. You're serious? Shu Province has been the site of conflict for far too long. Now, at last, its people are able to live in peace. I cannot allow my own carelessness to threaten that peace. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, I ask that you show forbearance. For now we must flee from Cao Cao's clutches. Cao Cao's forces have moved much more quickly. Than I'd anticipated. We're completely surrounded. The enemy is large in number We must find some way to escape this dire situation. Whether that document is authentic or not, it remains that you are implicated in an assassination plot against my lord. I refuse to let you get away with it. Our lord made up his mind after seeing that list. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. For my aspirations, I will fight to the end! The only moves forward! I shall withdraw for now. However, I will never forgive those who threaten my lord's life. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Whoa! What a show, brother! The only moves forward! Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Retreat now. My lord, please forgive me. We have overcome the enemy's elite forces. But what they said about that letter concerns me. Still, I cannot afford to worry about that now. Come, everyone, we must escape with haste. Yeah! 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 
Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. Strength. I'm pulling back for now. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Whoa! What a show, brother! For my aspirations, I will fight to the end. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Truly impressive. I won't have any enemies left to defeat. To allow such a pathetic traitor to slip past me. You shall be put to death for your crimes. Your enemies will be unable to retreat unless we do something about them. Saved by my lord. As such, I must repay that obligation. Prepare to face me! If this castle falls, Master Liu Bei will be in grave danger. We must hold the enemy at bay. So regrettable. I failed to live up to Master Cao Cao's expectations. Thank you for saving me. Now I can provide aid to our retreating allies. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. This victory was made possible due to your efforts. the outcome of this encounter.
for my aspirate. I will fight to the end. Virtue shall fail! How could I let that traitor escape? It seems my men are not the only ones in this strict hand to guide them. Alright, now we can move on. Hurry, let's go! Take the attack to the enemy! Forward! unless we do something about them. Hey! You're tearing them up, brother! <laughs> Victory go to your head. I'll cut down anybody who stands in Cao Cao's way. Alright, now we can move on. Hurry, let's go. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Show, brother! We have somehow managed to extricate ourselves from the jaws of Tang. Is everyone all right? They went this way! Don't let them get away! We've run so far, and yet we still cannot shake them. Damn it! Why do Cao Cao's men have to be so stubbornly persistent? There's nothing else for it. I will act as a decoy. Wh hey! What are you saying, brother? You could not be allowed to perish here, brother. You must flee and stay alive. Zhang Fei! You must keep him safe. Wait! Guan Yu! Damn and blast it all! Come on, brother. If we stay here, we'll end up getting caught as well. Guan Yu, forgive me.
Master Yuan Chao, I must thank you humbly for having the magnanimity to take one such as myself under your wing. You need not grovel so. It is the duty of a true nobleman such as myself to show pity to those less fortunate. Observe! As the mighty Yuan Shao brings the haughty Cao Cao to justice! At least, that is what I would like to be able to say. But, hard as it may be to believe, our forces are in fact struggling against a single enemy officer. It is most disagreeable indeed. My men are positively terrified of this ruffian. I had not heard that Cao Cao's forces contained a warrior of such ferocity. Indeed. They say he has a fearsome appearance, with a long, magnificent beard. Hmm, come to think of it, did not one of your sworn brothers look a little like that? Well, you're with us now. I'm sure any sworn brother of yours would not obstruct us. Could it be? Guan Yu? Master Liu Bei! And you are? My name is Zhao Yun. I formerly served Master Gong Sung Zan, but now I wish to serve you, if it pleases you, my lord. Hey, you sure you know what you're saying? We don't even have a land to call our own, you know. We're homeless. That matters not. It is the vision of Master Liu Bei which has drawn me to you. The desire to rescue those in need. I have met no other man in this war torn land whose soul is so merciful. It is to you whom I wish to offer my service. I am but a wanderer in this land. If you serve me, you will be forced to endure great hardship. But if you still wish to accompany us, then I would be glad to have you, Zhao Yun. My lord, I will dedicate my very life to the service of your every wish, Master Liu Bei. As we suspected, Lord Guan Yu is with Cao Cao. What? You mean he's serving Cao Cao now? N no, not exactly. It seems he surrendered temporarily in order that Lord Liu Bei and the others might escape. We are in the exact same situation, Zhang Fei. We are clinging to life, reliant on the goodwill of Master Yuan Shao. These sacrifices are unavoidable if we want to walk the path in which we believe. And if we want to see our dear brother again. Well, when you put it like that... Give Kuan Yu a message for me. Tell him we are without a home, and are in no position to welcome him back yet. But we intend to leave the service of Master Yuan Shao during this battle. And we will meet with him then. Yes, my lord. It is time for me to leave the service of Master Yuan Shao and walk my own path. After we meet up with Guan Yu and Xu Cheng, we will make for Jing Province. to you and to the other officers of your army. Now, though, it is time for me to head to Xu Chong, where my brother waits. That beard! I know who that is. That's Guan Yu! This is a chance to make a name for myself. There are also allies of the invading hiding in Guan Yu. Real opportunity. Yeah! Yeah! 
by you and Chow's army, boss. We'll have to knock him over and hurry to Master Leo Bay. Losing your life by rushing in is the height of foolishness. Fall back! Brother, I apologize for my long absence. I have finally returned. Wang Yu, it's wonderful to see you again. I'm delighted that we have both lived to see this day. This takes care of the men of Yuan Chao's forces, but the road ahead of us remains long. We must hurry. Another one of the bandits causing problems in this area? No, you are wrong. <clears throat> you, you listen here. I am a follower of the great hero Guan Yu. I am Zhou Zan, the swift and the powerful. Ah! Do you think that you can fool me? Master Guan Yu wouldn't allow someone like you to join him. Now wait, wait. <laughs> It's true! He said I could join him! I have received word remnants of the Yellow Turbans were still causing problems. I believe you are obviously one of them. I am Xiao Yun! I will not allow bandits to go free. Uh, what? Xiao Yun? Then you're... you're just like Bob. Uh. Uh. Wait! Listen to me for a moment! Ah! He got away. Never seen someone run so fast. This victory was made possible due to your efforts. Hey, hey! You're tearing them up, brother! 